Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you a very special what I eat in a day. It's actually a what I eat in a day on the go edition. As usual, I'm gonna be taking you through my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three really easy recipes that you can take around with you and eat on the go. And also my favorite healthy snack. So make sure you guys have some Tupperware at the ready and let's get started with breakfast. So I posted a picture of these gooey berry coconut bars on my Instagram and so many of you requested the recipe. Here it is. So what you will need is three cups of oats, two handfuls of chopped pecans that I've just kind of broken up in my hands, one cup of almond milk, half a cup of maple syrup, and then you can really get quite creative with the rest. I love blueberries so I included a cup of blueberries and half a cup of raspberries but the last time I did it I included some desiccated coconut. So the first thing I do is I preheat my oven to 180 degrees and then I literally just shove all my ingredients in a bowl all at one time. Time. Look at how cute my little heart wooden spoon is. <laughs> I love that freaking thing so much. So I literally just shovel my ingredients in a bowl and mesh them around. I would recommend actually like breaking up the raspberries a bit with the spoon as well and making sure that all the oats are covered evenly in the almond milk and in the maple syrup too. You could even add almonds in here. You could add a little bit of almond butter if you wanted to. And then I pour that all into my tray. I kind of flatten it out with my wooden spoon a bit. And here was where I would add the desiccated coconut and then I pop that in the oven for 20 minutes. It takes about 20 minutes to cool down as well and you can put it in the fridge if you want it to cool down faster. Now I'll normally make this recipe on a Sunday or something so that I have the bars throughout the week to eat and I just slice them up nicely and put them on a plate. They look so gorgeous. I love seeing how gooey the inside bit and I love seeing how the berries have just like warmed up and become this juicy juiciness. I'll wrap one up in some tin foil. I'll shove it in my bag. I'll eat it on the go if I'm rushing to a meeting. I'll put it in my handbag and eat it when I'm sitting down in a car or something like that. Or if I'm going on a really early flight and I'm not hungry as soon as I get up or I don't have time to eat in the morning, I'll just take some of these with me. So moving on to lunch, I'm going to make a wrap today. So the first thing I do is I'm going to marinate some mushrooms and this is about three or four mushrooms just cut up. I'm going to put some toasted sesame oil on a pan, stir those around a bit and then add a little bit of soy sauce to the mix as well. There's no real ingredients this year. I kind of just eyeball it. The first thing I do is I have these rice wraps and they're quite thin so I normally use two of them and I'll put some hummus on first and then I'll add some lettuce I like to use iceberg lettuce and then I love 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 adding avocado so I'll put some avocado in there this is just like mushed up with a fork and I'll add some lime to the avocado as well some grated carrots this is two grated carrots because I'm just I love carrots some chopped peppers and then I'll put my mushrooms in there as well so then I'll cover that with another one of the rice wraps wrap that in some tin foil and that is my sandwich good to to go. It is honestly so filling. Sometimes I can't even get through the whole thing because it's so, so filling. But oh my gosh, you get the carrots, you get the mushrooms, the peppers. There's so many different flavors in there and they all taste amazing together. I mentioned these in a recent favorite video. They're one of my favorite on the go snacks right now. They're from the Giving Tree. I just ordered them on Amazon. There's pumpkin crisps and there's strawberry crisps as well. They basically don't have anything added to them. They're just vacuum dried. And I think the pumpkin crisps have a little bit of rice bran oil as well. I'm gonna make an on-the-go salmon stir fry tonight. So the first thing you're gonna need is some salmon. I've just chopped this up into little squares. I have a cup of farro, one chopped courgette, chopped green beans, and one chopped carrot as well. So the first thing I do is I cook the salmon and I'll just put the salmon on quite a high heat. I'll add some salt, I'll add a little bit of pepper, and I'll make sure that the salmon gets heated up from all sides. I'll also add a little bit of toasted sesame oil and some soya sauce as well. Those two together make such a perfect combination. So once that's done, it usually takes about five to seven minutes. I'll add all the vegetables into the pan as well. Um, add some soy sauce, add some toasted sesame oil. You guys know the drill now. And then I'll also add my farro into some boiling water. And then once the farro is done, I'll drain that out and just let it sit for a minute to cool down. So then I get my Tupperware. The first thing I put in is the farro. This is like my nice filling carby base. And then I'll put all my vegetables in on top and they just look so, so, so juicy. And then I'll put my salmon in on top of that so when your fork goes in you get the salmon you get a little bit of vegetable and you get the grain at the bottom and together it's just such an amazing combination if you keep this in the fridge you can have it the next day as well and I don't find that the farro gets too wet from the sauces please subscribe if you enjoyed this video I really really hope you did I hope it was helpful to some of you who like me get a bit stuck when they're traveling around on the go feeling really rushed about what to eat as well and I will see you next week for a new video bye guys